Now we're going to talk about elevation and an elevation is a view of an object from one of many sides. This could be from the front, the rear, the top or even the side of an object. Here I've drawn a car and I've shown you some different elevations. We have our front elevation which is the front of the car. We have a side elevation, the side of the car. And we also have what's called a plan view which we mentioned earlier. A plan view is just basically a bird's eye view. The reason we need to draw elevations is because when people want to purchase things, they'd like to see an image of things from different angles. Anyway, we're going to move on to our example now, example two, and we need to do three elevations. We need to do a plan view, a side elevation, and a front elevation. And we're going to do it for the image drawn at right. So we'll start with question A and look at our plan view, which is our view from above or the bird's eye view. What would we see if we were looking from above? I'm going to color it in red. I would see four different squares from above. So how would I draw this plan view? Well, it's actually going to make an L shape. I'm going to draw my four squares in an L shape like so. These are the four squares that I've colored in red on the right. Okay, now let's look at our side elevation. I'm going to color my side elevation in green. These are the squares I would see if I was looking from the side. How would this look? Well, I'm going to draw my four squares like so. Notice that I've got a square above the square in the middle. That is what my side elevation would look like. And finally, I've got my front elevation, which I'll do in purple. These are the squares I would see if I was looking from the front. I would only see three of the squares. And it would look like so. I have my two squares below. And then for my square at right, there is one square above it. That concludes our video on example two. Remember to read the description below for theory booklets that relate to this video.